David, welcome to Hibs. Your thoughts on your move here to Easter Road? Obviously, delighted to be here. It's a great club and great fan base and things like that. And being an Edinburgh boy, I've, I know what it's all about and the expectations that the fans set on the players. And it's a great club to be at. And I'm delighted to be here. How relieved are you to, to be coming back up the road, back home? Yeah, for, for different reasons, really. I'm relieved in the fact that I've got a young family now that's, um, who's obviously Scottish as well, and it's been great to come back up and see the family. And a lot of friends and family have helped us uh, with my daughter and things like that, so that's been great. And just the chance to play at such a, a good, well, obviously not a great level this year, with it being in the Championship and it's something I need to get back to the SPL, but it's a great opportunity to play for such a big club. Obviously, you're from the local area, born in Edinburgh, grew up in Midlothian, so did you always think that one day you would end up back in your home city? Um, it's something I've always wanted to do, really. Um, I've also got a lot of mates, Hearts and Hib supporters, and a rivalry if it comes to that, and it was always something I've, obviously, it's a big, big ask, and the, the city is always hyped about Hearts and Hibs, so it's, to be involved in that is something that really did interest me, yeah. And obviously the Championship next season is going to be a fantastic challenge, isn't it? And you're Alan Stubbs' first signing, so that's uh, quite an honour in itself, isn't it? Yeah, I definitely had a good chat with him this morning and I think everybody's well aware of the fact he's came across very well and everybody's interested to see how well he's going to do and I'm delighted and honoured to be his first signing really and I can't wait to get started. Tell our viewers a bit more about yourself because you obviously started off at Manchester United, you were there for six years before moving to Preston North End. You've obviously experienced quite a lot, even though you're still only 26. Yeah, I was, I was lucky enough to have a great education down at Manchester United. Um, six, as you say, six years uh, was good for me. Um, I left to go to Preston to get first-team football. I was at the sort of age, a crossroads in my career, where did I stay for another year and sort of be in the reserves, or I had the opportunity to go and play in the Championship in England, and I was delighted to take that as well. That was a really good experience for me against obviously Preston being quite a big club played against some big teams and it's a great experience that way I've had a few injuries that set me back a little bit but and then from there I went down to Stevenage and had a really good season the first season there and a bit of a staggered season last year it ended up with me leaving but all, all being well it's been great to get back up here now Obviously objectives for the season you're coming in as an experienced recognised right back that's been a, a gap in our in our lineup for quite a long time so do you, do you feel that you know, you can hopefully make an immediate impact. Yeah, I hope so. I'd like to hit the ground running, obviously. There's no better place to start. You've got Rangers first game of the season in the Cup, which is obviously a good indication for us to go and put a good marker down and get a good result there. And as you say, this league this season is going to be so exciting with the teams that are in it. So it's something that I'm striving to try and play every single game and make sure we finish as high as possible. It's incredible, isn't it? As you mentioned there, your debut potentially could be at Ibrox for Hibs and then a couple of games down the line, you could be playing at Tynecastle against Hearts. That's, it's incredible, isn't it, considering we are in the second tier of Scottish football? Yeah, as you say, it's just the second tier of Scottish football, but I think there'll be just as many people watching the Championship there as watching the SPL. So there's no, and I, there's also other teams in this division as well that will be looking to do well as well, like Falkirk and that will be very competitive. So, it's, as you say, it's going to be very interesting. What's Alan said to you about the team's objectives, the squad? It, as he mentioned, obviously, the need to obviously bounce back at the first available opportunity and get back up? Yeah, not directly as such. Obviously, I had a chat with him this morning and things, but everybody knows that a team like Hibs shouldn't be in this division. The fan base they've got and the facilities they've got and obviously the players that they've got as well, they're good enough to... They should have done a, maybe done a little bit better last season, but for whatever reason, we are where we are and everyone's desperate to get back up, really.